everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna try to make this video quick and short, but we'll see. I do like to talk. Um, if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you'll know that I snapped about having issues with this conch piercing. Um, and if you don't follow me on Snapchat, you should. Links to all my social medias are down below. Anyway, um, and I snapped about how I was having issues with my conch piercing. So I thought it'd be a good idea for those of you who are wondering, um, to just make a video about it. And I think, I think my last video about my conch piercing was my five month update on it. And I, and I think that was actually like last month. So great. <laughs> um, and I, in that video, I think I said that like, that was going to be the last update until the year mark unless something happened. And I feel like I needed to update you guys. So I'm here and something happened and I need to update you guys. Um, yeah. I will show you guys a close up of it in a second, um, but I just kind of want to explain to you what's been going on with it and why I don't have the CBR Captain B ring in it. So I want to say about two weeks ago I noticed that there was a decent sized bump on it and I took to the sea salt soaking it but I was worried that the bump was being caused by the movement of the CBR which is quite common and I knew when I got it done and that was you know the CBR that was the initial jewelry that was put in and I knew doing that having the CBR put in on on such a new fresh piercing that that could cause problems um, but I was like you know fully ready for those complications and you know and honestly me and my piercer we both prefer like the look of rings on the majority of piercings um, or CBRs on the majority of piercings and, you know, we both were like, well, you know, if there's an issue, come back. You know, my piercer was like, I'll take a look at it. You know, we'll get it fixed if there's, you know, any issues. Great. <laughs> um, but then this week, um, I noticed that no matter how many, like, sea salt soaks I was doing, um, you know, how clean I was keeping the piercing, um, you know, I stopped sleeping on that side. I cut my hair away from it. And this bump was just not going away. And I kind of felt like it was... It was getting more painful, it was getting more crusty, and it was just kind of like getting a little bit bigger. And I was like, okay, so at some point I need to go talk to my piercer and get this situated. Well, also if you follow me on Snap, then you'll know my piercer is no longer piercing at the shop that I always go to. And you guys should know I always go to the same piercer, same shop. Um, but for whatever reasons, uh, I don't need to get into it, he's not piercing at that shop anymore. Um, he is still going to be piercing um, locally like in the same city and everything like that, but he's currently not piercing and he's taking time off to kind of get things, you know, together so he is able to pierce. It's kind of bad timing on my part, but yeah, so I couldn't go to him and, you know, have him look at my piercing. Um, but anyway, so it was kind of, it's just kind of been up to me to take care of it and get this bump to go away. And I, I knew initially when I saw the bump that the cause of the problem was the jewelry, the CBR. And like I said, I was prepared for that to happen. Um, I just wasn't, you know, prepared to not be able to talk to Pierce about it. But like, it, it's fine, guys. Um, so I decided to change the jewelry. Now, I should have had different jewelry to put in it, um, shorter jewelry, but I don't, um, and it's kind of stupid on my part, I should have definitely had shorter jewelry just in case, but I didn't really think about it until it was time to be thinking about it. So I do have a half inch 14 gauge Labret post that I ordered online coming in the mail, um, but you know, who knows when that'll be here. So I went ahead and changed it to a 3 4 inch 14 gauge um, barbell. Um, and it's actually the same one that I used whenever this cheap piercing was acting up. I filmed that video where I was like changing it um, out and everything like that um, to that longer one to kind of, because it was swollen a little bit, irritated. That is the one I have in right now, um, but I just have like both balls. I don't have like flat back on the in there, um, or the back I mean, if that makes any sense, I don't know. Um, and I, I don't like the fact that I have to you know, I've changed it into this one and then I'm going to have to change it into, you know, the shorter labret post. I don't like that I have to do that, but I needed to get that ring out of there and just kind of get something that hopefully doesn't move as much. Now, this one, like I said, this one is a 3 4 inch um, barbell and so it is a little too long, um, but it, it doesn't get moved around as much as the ring did and I like completely stopped sleeping on that side and honestly it hurts, my ear hurts too much to sleep on that side anyway. Um, but 
I will give you guys a close up of it, but let me just say it's probably crusty right now, and obviously, as you guys can see, it is red, it's an angry piercing, um, and I'm just babying it like it's a fresh piercing. Um, so yeah, I will give you guys a close up of it right now. Hey, you guys can see that. to say that I think that the bump has gone down um, a pretty good amount since I've changed it into this drawer, but it is still quite irritated and <laughs> crusty. So like I said, I'm just trying to take care of it like it's a fresh piercing, you know, just babying it, everything like that. Um, I'm not doing sea salt soaks on it as much. Um, I mean, I was only doing it twice a day before, but now I'm just kind of doing it like once every few days, um, just because I don't want to like dry it out or anything. like. I'm just trying to like take care of it and I'm just cleaning it with my standard piercing solution and then when I'm in the shower I'm letting like, really 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 warm water just hit it and that really helps it and makes it feel so much better. I really don't have anything else to add. Um, hopefully I don't have to do another update. Um, if you guys do want me to do another update just to let you guys know hey it's still like fucked up or hey it's doing great um, definitely let me know. I don't have a problem filming it but if you guys don't want it then I'm not going to film it obviously um but yeah that's it so don't forget to look in the description box for my social medias i think i've already said that um and then for all my playlists i've all of them linked down there especially my piercing playlist from that one is my most popular one and obviously it just has all my piercing related videos in it but that is it i love you all thank you so much for watching my video and hopefully you will check out my next one